All right, look what just arrived. No way. The full blown electric bike. This is about to get serious. What? The V3 though? No, we did it. I am stoked to see how this thing rides. <laughs> So this massive package just showed up to our house. And it is a Vitalon electric bicycle. Vitalon, B-I-T-I-L-A-N. Like Vittles. Like Vitalon. Vitalon, e-bike. So when we first got in contact, or when this company first got in contact with us, um, I wasn't sure of how actually epic this bike was until it showed up. And it weighs like literally 80 pounds. It's been sitting on the front porch since it got here. Thankfully, we don't have any porch pirates in our neighborhood, but we're basically gonna just put it on this cart so we can take it into the backyard, open it and show you guys the bike and then obviously ride it. So it's actually Thanksgiving day, 2021. And this is the very first e-bike electric bike we have ever had or ever ridden and we haven't ridden it yet so we will let you guys know we want to do a real deal review of this bike and also at the same time have fun doing it let's get to it Vitalon. Vitalon. <laughs> let me just get this piece how come i can't put my fingies through it <laughs> yeah because i already opened that one for you oh. the vitalani Nah, should I cut it open? Sorry. This is easier if we can both Vittle on it, you know? Oh, I didn't see Vittle on it. Vittle and cheese. It doesn't get it through because there's something in the way. But we'll be able to make it work. I mean, I can get that side too. Yeah. So we'll put it on this cart. And then Sammy James is gonna vittle on this thing into the back. You all right? Yeah. <laughs> it's too heavy to even vittle on yet. The way you've been flailing it around. So the plan is to open it up, pull it out, put it on the table, so you guys can see it with us for the first time. Whoa, this is a big dog. Oh my God, is this like a beach bike? Assembly required. 
Right? <laughs> just in pieces. So that's good we have this table to set it on. I don't know if I like that word. Assembly, Assembly required. Right? Oh my gosh. We might have to break out into a fatty time lapse right now though. Yeah, we might have to. So we can put this thing together because this is about to get heavy. This is a beach <laughs> cruiser. That's what I was just Later saying. for you. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. Wow, let's do it. This assembly process. Let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it. instructions in the box we're not sure if it comes with instructions but the left side pedal is actually a reverse thread I know I'm doing this like so that's the first thing that you would want to know when you're putting the bike together it's the only thing I guess true because uh, we definitely were just here for like 10 minutes off camera like doesn't fit. Trying, trying to put it on just like <laughs> this one but the left it didn't side. go I don't know if that was like on purpose, but left side was reverse thread. And also it comes with keys. Which is kind of cool. Like, let me get my keys to my video on. <laughs> the video on keys. Is that what you're going to be claiming? Yeah. I'm going to be claiming that where do the keys go? Got to charge it first, baby. We'll see how much charge she's got in there. All right, the bike's assembled. Now we're gonna take it out front and test it for the very first time. Let's do this. All right, so I'll just walk it out front, right? Because we don't want to be trying this guy. In the yard. I'm gonna ride off into the sunset. Which is sad, but it's literally about to set. Nah, not yet. Alright. The start button's right here. Left side. Fully charged. It came fully charged, didn't know that. I'm a little scared, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> All right. Uh, maybe I can. First time riding it. <laughs> you gotta hit the juice. <laughs> no, you're not doing that. Why are you doing that? <laughs> no, you didn't do that. <laughs> Why didn't you put a <laughs> Why'd you do that? How could I ride an electric skateboard with that? <laughs> Fail. I thought you were going into that guy's car. Because, like, the guy was on the video was claiming that I watched. He was like, uh, it just keeps juicing even after you stop. Like, so it just keeps going. It's not like it's jolting you. So, like, it's not like when I first was about to ride it, for some reason, I thought the brake was the, like, go, the gas. This is my plan. Let me grab the Max Fine board. I'll hop on it and then I'll ride with you. So we can really test it out. I might need to, I don't know, dude. I might need to put pants on. This thing's just a little scared. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's got some power. Do you want to try it? Do you want to try it uh, first or you want me to? It's like, okay, you know what it is though? It's honestly because. So if I'm on the, I have a dress on, but if I'm on this bike, right? Right. I have to be on my tippy toes to be able to touch the ground. So I'm not very stable. I this got This is an you. honest review for someone that's 5'2". Um, you can't lower the seat anymore. So I'm not really like, no, I lowered it. It's, so it's in your coochie. 
It's in my coochie, but that's not the problem. You can always make your seat comfy. But it's the fact that, like, if it's going and I just want to get up off of it, that's not going to happen without it grinding into my crotch and me hurting myself. Do you understand? So should I try it first and give the real review? Maybe, yeah, because you're taller. All right. I will master this, but... What do you say? I said I will master this, but I'm just being honest. <laughs> All right. We know what we're doing here, right? mm -hmm. <laughs> See you in the funny pages. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ride off into the sunset, but uh five two, five two. <laughs> <laughs> you ride perfectly. I get what you're saying there because like if you couldn't touch the ground you can't just like but this is the thing that uh, regulates how fast it's going so literally when you start off it only allowed me to go five miles an hour until I hit the plus and then this is just the speed that doesn't really do anything for if you're not pedaling this does nothing it's all about this and just this and always just having your hands ready to break at all times because like coming up to the stoplight like the stop sign when i hit off i put my hands like off the speedometer it still was just going the same speed until i hit the brakes do you get what i'm saying yes so the vitalon is an extra epic beast in the wild and we live on just a regular road and there's a cross street over there where people drive fast down. So we're gonna take this to the actual bike path, cruise it there so that Sammy can ride it and get comfortable before she rides it in the road. And also to the beach, hopefully, before the end of today. So I used to have a gate, like a ramp, where I could put stuff up onto the truck, um, but we're just working with basically a two by four today. But that's all we got. Look at this guy showing up. On this day. I'm thankful for BMW station wagons. <laughs> Is that what you're thinking? No, I have two of them. I'm not thankful for them. I really? should actually never have another one again. What do you think? What's the next claim? Trucks. I like trucks. I like these. What? Bikes. Bikes. Did you see this thing ever? Maybe. Not really, because we just opened it. And maybe not. Uh, maybe I saw Ben's. Ben has one. Different kind, though. What is that thing? The Vitalon. Wow. Goes 30 miles an hour. Wow. Where'd you get that? You could rip that. Where'd you get that? From the spot. From the guy. What's the spot? From the company they sent it to us. Here's socks. They're actually Where do you really, get that from? They're for you. Okay. From uh, Ben. Oh, all right. Yeah, they're nice, dude. What do you else you got in here? I got uh, turkey, pumpkin bread, stuffing, corn, mashies, cranberry sauce, and mashed potatoes. Anyway, this is let's get, my food let's get this out with some real loud. Ooh. Cranberry sauce, corn, pumpkin bread, two things of turkey, stuffing, and mashed potatoes. I forgot drinks. Uh, a juice? <laughs> no, I don't have anything. So there's your Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. No, I have to go tend to my wife. She thinks she's going to die. Represent this. <laughs> I will. Thank you. <laughs> Look at that cat. Well, I'm thankful on this day for spent for having Landis for so many years. Yeah, this is true. Yeah, that's true. It's really nice right here right now. I mean, on this is... Street. It's calm. Really, it's not windy. It is very quiet. George is watching us. Yeah. Definitely, that's 100%. <laughs> All right, we're loading this beast up, trying to catch it before the sun sets fully. Of course, with the Hello Kitty tail, proper. That's it is proper. proper. So here's what I'm gonna do. So we don't scratch the new baby, I'm gonna wrap this like this, and then just, put it over where the roof's going. Just like 
that. And then we're going to strap her down. And then hit the sash. Sammy J's first ride. <laughs> you gotta hit the juice. <laughs> no, you're not doing that. Why are you doing that? <laughs> no, you didn't do that. Oof. Without mangling herself. Hopefully, hopefully. So you put the key in. We just okay. figured. So, no key is the same. Anywhere, I guess they said universal. So, it's customized to you. So nobody else can like, be jacking your vinny line bike, yeah? All right, let's see this. I'm scared. After last time, I would be too. <laughs> the thing is, if you put your leg over the... Yo, I don't know. Put your leg over the thing first, right? And then stand. Because, like, if this was in between your, your legs, you'll be able to stand up still. Do you get what I'm saying? What's wrong with that thing? Why what? does that pedal look like that? Uh, they do that. That's like a special trick that they can do. All right. I got this. I think. I hope. See? You're good. Just take it slow. Freezing. <laughs> yeah, that's it right there. It's on some kind of weird setting where, like, I'm not touching the handle. Is that... Wait, is that what they're supposed to do? No, you're supposed to... No, I'm not doing anything. If I was yeah. confident enough, I'd show you and take my hands off. It just goes as I'm pedaling. Oh, yeah, it kicks in. Yeah. Yeah, but you're supposed to... If you want to ride it without pedaling, you just... Oh, oh! No. No wonder it was jolting. I was thinking you had to hold the thing the whole time. Directions would have been nice. Yeah, so if I want to go faster, I just jolt it, right? Yeah, jolt it. See how it feels. Just go like this. Damn, like this. I am. Don't do that for me. That's scary. Get past these people and then we'll ride. Now time for me to take it for a ride. <laughs> Am I right though? I so. I wanted to see, see you just you hit it. On it. You haven't even... Yeah, what do you, you mean? Once, but not on the bike pad. I've been cruising on this for days, boys. Is this really going 10 miles an hour? It feels like nothing. So I could see how you could get it up to like 30 without really. Yo, so the reason is. The reason why I was tripping is because like you can go 10 miles an hour on this and it doesn't feel like anything. No, and it is like, it's just a weird transition because I don't even ride like a regular bicycle. So for me to get on this as an electric bike is like a an odd thing for me to do. Do you know what I mean? Like it doesn't feel comfortable because I don't do it often. So when it's got some speed to it, it's a little bit heavier. It goes 10 miles an hour like you're going standing still. That's what it felt like. Yeah, Because it's of. kind of like a motorcycle because it's all heavy and stuff. So shall we? That's why I'm like scared because like if I get, like if I fall in there and that thing falls on me, so big. You do. 80 pounds. 
But when we're riding it on the beach tomorrow, you'll be able to really jack up the yeah, speed. Yeah, I wouldn't be as scared because like if I land on sand. And there's not going to be anyone around. Like, wouldn't you agree? If you landed on sand, it'd be way softer than uh, landing on this. Way. Right into the neighbor's car. Do you want to cruise it? Yeah, we can cruise it back. Do you want it or no? No, I want to cruise it. What a dreamer. <laughs> trouble catching the sunset <laughs> before so we're gonna caught it for tonight and we're gonna see you guys on the beach tomorrow so see you there with the bike
You think it's better taller? Yeah. And then you can point it down. No, it sucks having short arms. Not Dude. really. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Because we can work with both of them. All right, start us off. All right, so we're going to give a... This is too much with the two cameras. But I don't know who to look at. <laughs> you can look at that one and I'll switch back, <laughs> I'll switch back and forth. I want to look at this one because it's more comfortable. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do a review on the Vitilon electric bicycle. So go ahead. I was just expecting him to pitch in or cut in. I was going to say that the bike on the beach is like the funnest thing ever. And obviously it's cool in the street. But usually if you ride a bicycle on the beach, it's kind of like and really hard to ride and the wheels are too thin. But with this bike, first off, it's electric. So you just hit it and you just go. But second, it has these monster thick wheels that go on like all terrain, basically. Like I was riding it on the rocks and then on the beach. And it was really fun. It almost reminded me of like uh, a dirt bike, I guess. Or like, an, uh, or like a gas powered Ooh. motorcycle. So that was the biggest plus for me. The biggest plus for me was literally just being able to even ride the bike on the beach without hurting myself because I've never done that. I've never ridden a bike, just a regular bike on the beach either. So that was exciting. And it is a little bit easier on your knees. Like you're, I think you don't have to work as hard because it just goes by itself, but I think it's a quality bike. Really quality. I would say it's, I've never tried any other ones, so I wouldn't really know what to compare it to. Have um, you? You've never. I never tried an electric bike before, but that's why I was comparing it almost to like a motorcycle because that's how it felt. And it feels like really like very well built like you could just ride through a fence and you wouldn't stop do you know what i mean like it's not something to be reckoned with it's thick metal like it feels like empowering to be on it kind of does that make sense whereas on the skateboard you're just like Woo! <laughs> like if something hit you you'd just be smoked but See, on the i bike... feel more free on the skateboard only because i can jump off of it like nothing no weight is going to come down on me like there's a lot of ways where you could get caught on the bike and that thing is heavy, but I guess, I guess a lot of people would probably prefer a bike over a skateboard though, like an electric bike, just because it's, uh, for most other people, you might just feel like you're in control more, you know? Yeah. I'm going to have to ride it more to really see, but I wanted to say that we do. Uh, when we go out to film one of these videos that we put in a lot of like thought and stuff to get the shot. So I just want to say today we really did get good shots that I think we should be proud of. Because there's like a really epic shot of Sammy from the drone just cruising the beach. Hopefully it's epic because that's what I saw in my mind. I mean you saw it in front of you, right? I saw it right here on the screen, but the reality is sometimes it looks different. I feel like it always looks better than you think, though. And then the shot of... I'm interested to see how the shot of the staff going up from the bike is. Because I just zip-tied it on there. And I knew that it was, like, filming the back of me and, like, the whole bike and everything. But it'd just be cool to see if it got, like, any of the seagulls or anything. Because they were, like, flying by and the water was coming up. That would actually be really cool. I mean, this is pretty much so cold outside right now. But... The only time of year where you could just cruise down the whole beach and not really see a single person. You could almost just go from the jetty all the way to like AC and only see like 10 people on the beach. That's true. When we got there, you're complaining. You're like, there's too many people here. On the street. There's there was. like three people. <laughs> there's three cars and they were too many cars. There was no, it was just the, the fam fam. I would say most epic bike ever. And if you didn't own a car, and you live somewhere 
that was like close to grocery stores and stuff, that that would be probably the best thing you could own. This is true. All it all you all it requires is electricity to and charge it. it so. And it has its own key, just like a car. So like nobody Custom. can just walk off with it. If it was like chained up to a pole with the key out of it, it's not really like anyone's gonna take it. Right. But good review. Good review. That was it. So that thing, that thing's a freaking beast, and we'll know. have all the codes and everything in the link in the description of the video like a link to like our affiliate link and how you can get to their website and everything if you guys want to check them out but the i would say the electric bike thing has just begun in our lives yeah we need two to really give like yeah exactly a, a thorough review because it's hard when like you want to like cruise together but you can't so and if you could just Keep both out there. grab, and we haven't ridden it without filming, which is another whole thing. Like I haven't taken it with my mind completely off of everything and just cruised. Yeah. So we'll have to try that too. And maybe in warmer weather, so. Off to home. What are you saying? I said I'm getting the holiday blend. That was obvious to everybody. Look at you. Just tried it this morning. <laughs> I'm saying look at your steez though. I forgot I was even wearing this. I was wondering why people were smiling at me so much, because that's rare. All right, so we're going to go <laughs> get a whole bunch of shots of just the bike, like cruise around it with the gimbal and shoot it. And then we're going to do like a voiceover type of thing. But first... Coffee before planes. At Wawa. What happened? Ladies are pointing and laughing at me. I know, but the one lady was like passed out in the, over there. Did you see that? Yeah. So they were obviously just drunk. But hazelnut creamer, a little bit of shit, a little bit of cinnamon. I gotta wipe that because I always feel guilty. I do this. I'm one of those people because I know how it is to, have to clean up after somebody else's mess. <laughs> So this is molasses, ginger, cinnamon, and clove. Limited edition. Mild. Holiday blend at Wawa. Alright, I'm good. <laughs> About to show Paul the electric bike for the first time, our friend Paul, and see his reaction. So somebody's reaction that's not us to it. Do you want to see something super badass? Well, sure. 
open it for him. All right, open sesame. Not the cherry box, I'm about to let that distract you. Ah. That's nice. That's real nice. How fire is that? That's the Godfather awesome. Paul approved. And it cruises on the beach, Paul? No. Yeah. Yeah, we took it out riding in Longport. Yeah. Like you can just rip it. Just crank it and it goes no. up to 30 miles an hour. No, 32 I... miles an hour. Yeah, I want to try yeah, it. Yeah, all right. It's literally okay. so easy to ride. It's a little sandy, this but... This has to be twisted, but... So... It's actually the coolest thing ever. Maybe I should get my skate out so I can ride next to him. I would. You think that's in the truck? It should be. So what you do is, the on button's right there. This? No. Yeah. And you'll see the screen turn on. And then, this is the brake, right? Okay. And then, here, relax. But uh, this thing, here, before stop pushing things, you're making me nervous. Take your hands off of them. That, when you turn back, is the gas. So, But and I don't have to use it, I can just pedal it? When you pedal, that's what gets it to give it the oomph. You can pedal, But yeah. if you want to go faster as you're going, hit the plus sign, yeah, and you'll notice it. On, uh, see how it says one? Yeah. There's like five different levels of speeds so you can only go five miles an hour on one yeah might want to readjust yourself not really oh you have to put the seat up for him mm -hmm. do you like the bike i like the bike but it is easier i feel like for people that are a little bit taller because it just i don't know it's just, they're coming out with a new product in February, he said. A new bike? Like a new, better, just like more epic bike, which <laughs> would be hard hard for me to even comprehend something cooler than this. Which way are we going here? Right, so I can just bike like this, right? And then just crank it. Now you gotta hit the up speed, hit the plus, yeah. That's how we get some more speed. Yeah. How nice is that? Do I have to like let go of this to crank it up again or just hit just the up? Just hit the up. Right? Oh. Right? Are we right, yeah. boys? Oh yeah. Like you don't need any you don't even need a car after this. And then do I keep pedaling or not? Pedal? You don't have to pedal ever. Just leave it like just. I never through. pedal once, that's her deal. Oh. Right though? Damn boy, you go quick on your bike. Squad, dude. Like, we'll take, don't it. There's a car coming, so I'll stop. The only thing is, if you don't hit the brakes, it won't just stop. Like if you let off the. Yeah. But that's just normal. He's seriously, legitimately way too fast for me to even skate next to him. I was trying to catch him and I couldn't even, and then he just dipped off. So I guess he feels pretty comfortable on the bike. All right, so Paul's having Paul's having so much fun on the bike that he just keeps passing the house going like 20, and we're gonna see if we can catch him on our boards. He's legit so happy about it. So happy. Yeah. Give it to him right now. Yes, yeah. I would give it to him right now. So. Scale of one to ten, how fun is it? This thing's amazing. This thing rips, first of all. Uh oh, this lady's not having no, it. No, she's going around. She's going around. Um, it rips. This thing's awesome. Are you kidding me? So you would ride that if you had it. I want to buy one. I want to buy one like now. <laughs> he wants to buy one right now. Yeah. This thing is sick. All right, awesome. you were going too fast before, but I want to get a sick slow-mo shot of you. I'm, well, when I turn on the 
Princeton right there. I'm just gonna rip it. So let me go be ahead of you. Yeah, you guys Sammy, you gotta go ahead of us, but watch out for this car. He's going so fast and having so much fun that he basically told us he's not gonna wait for me. As soon as he gets on the main road, he's just gonna rip it. He said that he hit 27 miles an hour, and I said, don't do that. He just learned how to ride it. <laughs> so you love this thing. This is amazing. This thing is so good. Actually, no idea. Dude, I had no idea that Paul would even like it. I had no idea that Paul would even really care for it. Push it to the limit, I can't go no more. I knew he was gonna like it. Cause he usually goes like, oh, that's cool, but it's not for me. This time he's like, that's cool and that's for me. Yeah, but the thing is when when Paul says, that's cool, it's not for me, like he's just joking around. I'm just saying, like, if I showed him a, one of these skateboards, though, he'd be like, eh, yeah, that's cool for you guys, but, like, I don't care for it. He doesn't but with care the for bike, skateboarding. Yeah, that's true. The even bike, with the scooter, he was kind of like, eh, that's cool, but, like. Gotta get him in a Hagrid outfit. I mean, that was on the list for one of his uh, Christmas presents is, like, the Hagrid umbrella and the full-blown suit because we want to, like, go as a crew crew with, like, Turner and his little sister, Jay, to Universal, but... You know, life happens, so it's hard for everybody to be able to make plans all at the same time that work with their life schedule. No, you don't just come in hot on that thing like that. Dude. Dude. <laughs> I don't know, that so... bike might have been, might have been made for Paul. This is so good. Paul you like it? Vidilon. This thing's so good. What makes you like it so much, though? Push it to the limit, I can't go no more. It's just, uh, it's intuitive. Like, the controls are intuitive. Like, it's easy to just pick up. Like, I walked out here. I've never ridden an e-bike or anything before. Yeah. And, like, like, two seconds, you're like, okay, this does this, this does this. Boom. I'm cruising around Summer's Point at 27. 20, you hit 27 miles an hour. Coming down your street, because it's a little down, it's a slight decline, I hit 27. Wow. I only ever got to like maybe 17 on it. No, if you, but dude, also when we try to how do you something. not do more than 20, than 17? Well, mostly because we were on the beach when I tried to floor wow. it. And second, I maybe only rode it as much as you did, maybe less than you did already. This thing's so good. <laughs> Back. It's got this guy here, so you can strap some stuff on there. Like, you could literally, like where I live, I could just take this to Castle's and grocery shop. That's what I was trying to say, that somebody that might not even have a use for a car would definitely have a use for this. A hundred percent. And if you, you can have a car, like, instead of using the gas, if I'm just oh going to God. Wawa or something... Turner. <laughs> Just take this. Turner, look at this shot. It's fucking gold. Look at it. He looks like he's like my bitchy lawn e-bike. He is saying that. Like you look like you're from freaking the movie 300s. 
Think about this too, Paul. You could, if you had like a really small area in like Manhattan that store, you could hang it from here. Oh yeah. Probably make specific and it folds like in half. For it. Yeah, it folds. That's where the battery goes. And look, if I took this out, nobody would have the same key as this. Because they're customized to so you. So like only. you, you couldn't, you couldn't just steal it. You they're know? customized to the charge box, is what it said. And it has to be turned, you know, to make it go. And we had to customize it with the I Love Landis sticker. He's not done yet. Hold on, Paul. Hold on, hold on, don't go. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have to be going now. Oh, do you? Au revoir. Auf Wiedersehen. No way. He loves it. There's no way he likes it this much. It's just Christmas present. Dude, we gotta just he'll come up with it, right? Yeah. But not today or today. I would do it today. Vinny Line would be stoked about us re gifting it to him because it's just one bike. If it was two, I don't know, it'd be different. But like, look how happy he is. To make Paul happy personally makes me happy. And I know it makes you happy. Like, look how stoked he is. He's the happiest I've ever seen him about yeah. something. He said he's never ridden one. I thought he did because he's so good on it. I'm like mind blown. He just left our, like he's, all right. He said I guess Paul's he gone. He said I'll freeze then. He said I'll trade my truck for this vidi <laughs> <laughs> like Basically, he's gone. Basically the same value. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> that was true, shut up. This is a nice truck. I've been on the road, I've been doing shows. Now we eating steak, remember sleeping on the floor. We're still in at the gas station when the time's cold. In the kitchen, hostel, trying to flip it off the stove. Rocking fake J's, praying that nobody knows. Watch them take my dog away, it was way too hard to stay composed. Fight to see the light of day, all this blood on my clothes. I was tired every day, green light, it's time to go. I don't wanna live life fast or die too young. Die too young. 100 miles per hour, I might crash, cause a good die young. Yeah, a good die young. Push it to the limit, I can't go no more. Red light, no way I'm coming back home. On dirt road, all on my own. Give me a rundown of how I should ride it. <laughs> cause I never, I never juiced it like you do. You gotta go down your street here, turn left, come up Princeton here. Should I not say the street name? Oh, you can say whatever you want at this point. Well, you go down the street, turn left, come up that street, and then turn left over here so that you come around that corner in three. And then you hit, push it up to five and go right down the street. So you claim and come around there and speed three. Yeah. Hit it into five yeah. and then just cruise. Just cruise. And then it. you'll be going down the street. And like, you'll probably be going down faster than I was. You'll probably hit 30. All right, we're gonna test out the plan. Um, so we're on speed two right now. And we're going 10 miles an hour, which is crazy. It doesn't feel like much. On the bike, it feels a lot slower than it is.
So I just went 28.5 on it. That's not even the max speed and it felt real fast. I got to 28.5 on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No way. Yeah. So once you engage the speed and then you let off, you're still just going that fast. Yeah. Because I was just flying. going 25 on that other street and just didn't even hit this at all. Yeah. And the whole street down, I was just going 25. Yeah. So be careful, guys. If you, want, if you actually get one of these and you let off the gas, that doesn't break. You have to physically yeah, break you, you the use bike. Your brakes. But dude, 28.5? Yeah. No way. What's the solid claim about the bike? Well, what I'm saying is, like, I see people riding e bikes because, like, that's a thing now. And I kind of was, like, obviously interested, but I'm looking at them. I'm like, okay, well, sure. Well, that, like, like 115 pound chick is riding around on that thing fine. But, like, what would happen if I got on it? So, like, I like, don't really look into them, but, like, I rode this thing fine. Like, I rode this thing and it felt great. I felt fine on it. It's got, like, good tires that aren't going to just, like, flatten out when I get on it. Well, you no, can take this weight. fully off-roading, too. I believe it. I don't want Look dirt. at these tires. But, yeah, the, I think that uh, it's hard to target a demographic for the bike because almost anybody in the world could use it. 100%. Well, he's right.